Uh, they contacted us initially in 2008. Um, the product that they're using on the building is called ProSolve, our product. Uh, and they saw it initially at the 2008 Venice Biennale. And uh, they, the, our project architects contacted us with interest in using it on the facade. Um, initially, I think their interest was the depolluting ability of the material, but it also has an antimicrobial feature, which the director of the hospital is very interested in. Of course, it has a reputation for being a bowl-like city, and I think that morphology really lends itself toward air pollution. It's able to trap pollution in a very unique way. Uh, I didn't know about its global ranking, which I looked up immediately after being contacted by them. Um, and I think in 2010, the World Health Organization list listed them fourth, and first for um, low-level ozone, essentially smog which is also something that this technology fights. So we, we saw immediately that this would be a natural fit for the material. It would work on both sides. And we get a lot of um, inquiries and, and across cultural barriers, they always have this condition in common. The inquiries we get are always a problem of air pollution. The technology works in a way that the, the uh, or any organic particle, and that includes NOx and VOCs that come into contact with the surface, get broken down through the chemical reaction. And the driving force in it is the titanium dioxide. And being a catalyst in the reaction, it never gets used up. So essentially, it can go on and on. Um, the tiles themselves, eventually, the, the paint will start to decompose because the, um, the activity of the titanium dioxide is so strong that it will start to eat its own matrix. Um, but basically the catalytic um, reaction will go on and on. With a technology like ours, the great thing is you put a, a prosol facade somewhere and it may not lower the macro levels of air pollution for a place like Mexico City right away. But what it can do is lower the levels in having, having a direct and local effect on the ground. So you can have improved health of the people that work there or the people that walk by it every day. We don't always have to do something that will have macro effect, but maybe can use architecture and its scale to help in a local way. And linking all these things up, maybe someday we have a chance. Ve una nata flotante sobre la Ciudad de México, que es muy evidente porque la podemos comparar cuando vamos a una ciudad de provincia pequeña, transparente, eh, sin esa capa grisácea que se observa sobre la Ciudad de México. No podemos negar el impacto que tiene en cuanto a las molestias que una persona normal eh, percibe en cuanto a que le provoca tos o irritación ocular o alguna molestia en la piel. <risa> 